Well, it's morning in Galveston. It's raining all night long. It stopped raining this morning, so we're in Galveston. Let's turn on the engine. And we're here exploring Texas. So, I'm just up the street from the viewpoint where we went in the, in the last episode. So, now we're going to go, I want to go to this photo point. And we're going to take a look at Galveston here. And we're going to go up and try and find the three, there's supposed to be three of the, um, historical landmarks in Galveston. So I think we're just going to go around these places and then go up here and see what is here. So let's get going. So I want to go here. Okay, here we go. Turn left. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Then turn left. Turn left. The, point, the viewpoint is right up ahead and went there. And we're going to go back the other way as well and see what's up here but that, after this. I'm going to go a little bit slow because I'm looking for three historical landmarks, which sometimes they're hard to see. One of which is the Sydney Sherman go straight. landmark, because that was in the viewpoint showed it so it, we know it exists in game so it's going to come over this i think it's coming down the street it's probably this photo point coming up maybe i don't know in real life both of these historical landmarks are on the same street i think so i'm hoping to see both of them along here there's that statue there that we saw Go straight. Let me get into photo mode. I think I can get the photo point here. Uh, Sacred Heart Catholic Church. This is supposed to be one of the historical landmarks. 
Here's one of those, I guess it's the photo point. So we got that photo trophy. There's a guide to the historical landmarks. It mentions this as one. So right there, if we can get come right over there and stop, that's the, that's the historical landmark that we need to get. So we're, we're going to come back up that side of the street after we find the Sydney Sheldon one. I think it's here. Keep left and then turn left. Turn left. And avid historian. So it's right here. So if I go just there on the photo, uh, we can see this sign right here. Aha! Sydney Sherman. And it, and that, uh, that's the photo point. But yeah. Sydney Sherman. Born in Massachusetts, July 23rd, 1805, came to Texas, February 1836, as captain of a company of volunteers he had recruited into Kentucky and Ohio, commanded the 2nd Regiment of Texas Volunteers at San Jacinto, first to sound the immortal war carry opening the battle cry, I guess, I guess they made a mistake there, remember the Alamo, remember Goliad, Father of railroads in Texas, having built the first one west of the Sabine River, died in Galveston, Texas in 1873. Sydney Sherman. And we are going to turn left here. Turn left. It's kind of a difficult area to turn left here. The Sacred Heart Catholic Church Historical Landmark. Go straight. It's all over now. And this should trigger the achievement of a historian. And we'll uh, take a look at that. The earliest Catholic services in the Galveston area were conducted in 1838. The present building, the second for the parish, was constructed in 1903 to 1904. During the pastor of the Reverend D.J. Murphy, a prominent landmark in the city, the design reckon, reflects the influences of the Moorish, Byzantine, Gothic, and Romanesque styles. All right. So where now do we want to go? We want to go back this way and come back up this way. And see what's there and then we're going to head there. Because the third landmark is up towards this area. And of course, it was yellow when I went through but the red lights are very strict in this game. That guy went over the line. Dude. He should have gotten a red light uh, <laughs> violation there. This is tracks. Yeah, there's like a streetcar track. There we go right over. I went over again. This, 
I think it's the same guy. <laughs> the AI driving is a little sloppy sometimes. This way, I think. Just wanted to see what was up this way. Harborside Drive. There's a boat dealership here. Looks like. Asuma is this way. There's a sumo. There's a dealership or something. I think so. Truck dealership. Trailer. No, that's there's jobs here. It's a pickup point. Where can we go? Is there any of the Belmont? No. I'm not going to do those. External view. Because after Galveston, we're heading to Beaumont to catch this. Uh, there is one to Beaumont, but. Fragile cargo. Standard living, high value cargo. Well, maybe we'd carry this to Beaumont. I think that's good. Might as well pick it up. Since I'm going to Beaumont, and we'll see if we can get on the ferry with a load. I don't know if we'll fit on the ferry or not. Go to the metal man. That's what's behind here somewhere. Uh, no. It's around the other side. There it is, and let me look at it. There we go, we got it. And we're gonna carry some cars. Fragile cargo, so we want we want we don't wanna be too reckless here. <laughs> See the map Turn route right. is going to take us through, yes, the ferry, so that's that's where we want to go anyway. So I guess we can get on the ferry with this load.
like the industrial area here. There's a rail yard here. Rail yard. Galveston port. So there's a port there. Okay, red light violation. There's a port right there that you can probably pick up at. That would be one of the ports uh, locations for the port the port achievement, I think. Picking up at eight oh three of eight or oh, eight all eight ports. All these ports are near the Gulf of Mexico area the, of the game, I think. stopped all of a sudden. Okay. You gonna go, dude? Okay, just go, man. I don't know why he stops all of a sudden. There's a helicopter around somewhere. I don't know where it is. Well into the intersection. Okay. Ferry. Yep, the ferry is up ahead. Galveston Ferry Landing. Yep, the ferry is up ahead. Keep left, and then turn left. Turn left. Ferry Landing, left lane. There you go. In the left lane. Pretty busy at the ferry here. <laughs> ferry loading, left lane. Oh, loading, not landing. Oh, that truck is just sitting there. Trying to get in, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here? Maybe I'd let him in. I'd let him in if he was getting up. I don't know what he's doing. He's just sitting there, I don't know. Let me get through here. It's a close shave to get through there. Like he was in the wrong lane and trying to get over. I guess trucks are supposed to go down this lane. Finding new route. Maybe? 
No, it says no. So let's just go down. Let's go down this lane here. These big trucks have to wait, I guess. I don't know. I guess we get to go through. Quick. I don't know. See the ferries here, is it? There's two of the ferries. There's, well, there's three, I don't know. They're all here. So maybe I can get on here. I don't know why they're waiting, but uh, I'm just gonna go right on in. Pretty cool. Got the ferry here. Close to there, but there is room to come in here. Oh, yeah, so. okay, here we go. Little ferry, possible destinations. Yeah, Galveston, uh, Galveston, arrival to Boulevard Point. And it's free. 18 minutes. Recomputing. It's too bad you don't see the, uh, the ferry. You, like, you, you don't ride the ferry. That would be cool. They had that, but oh well. I guess the ferry is already always here, and it basically it's just basically smoke and mirrors. But uh, you're the last one off. All the other ch cars are gone, but that's yeah, pretty interesting. Exit, okay, exit. This way, I guess. Yeah, over here. It was supposed to be. Um, 87, so along 87, so on our Boulevard Point historical landmark, so it's got to be along there somewhere. There's a lighthouse. There's no stop sign here. Okay. Historical marker, there it is. 7450, so it's in here. Let's go in here then. Okay, let's see where it is. It's right there. And we got the achievement for it, so let's take a look at it. And here it is. This is the there's people that are taking pictures. Taking selfies of here. Boulevard Point. In 1815, Colonel Henry Perry established a military camp here as part of the plan to invade Spanish Texas. While commanding a filibuster to win Texas independence, James Long established Fort Las Casas on Boulevard Point in 1820 to 21. His wife, Anthony Herbert, brought birth to a daughter, Mary James, in 1821 at this point. Mary, uh, it's hard to read that the bottom part, but uh, is there a way we can. Oh, there we go. There we go. 
Mary James Long is often referred to as the first Anglo child born in Texas. So we can come up here. And take some screenshots. All right, back on our way. So those are the three historical landmarks in the Galveston area that, I, that we're supposed to have. So we got those three. Now we're heading, heading up to Beaumont. It's only 44 miles away, so Beaumont, Texas is pretty close. A lot of beaches here, people with RVs. Some oil rigs. Public beach access roads. You can actually, can you drive in there? Can't get that far. Go straight. Oh my, straight ahead. Don't go. Where does that road go? It goes back to the highway. We ended up back in Houston, looks like. Back up in Houston, we're heading to Beaumont. So. Right, and then turn right. Turn right. To go that way, it goes up here. Long view, Lufkin area.
Beaumont. Here we go, Beaumont, Texas. Keep right, and then turn right. Turn right. They're stopping for some reason, but I trust them. Okay. Go straight. There's a bridge up there or something? Yeah, it looks like a bridge. Beaumont may have a port as well. So keep right and then turn right. Turn right. Yep, power of Bomar. Next left. left and then turn we right. actually might be going to the port. Which turn would be left. a good which good because that qualifies as a port one of the port deliveries. That's the port, or if that's the port, though. So, may not be, but we can take a port delivery after we drop this off.
truck straight. route. This is the truck route. Okay. Keep right. That's either a bridge or those that could be the port actually. Go straight. Keep right. And then turn right. Yeah, the port is that one. Turn right. So yeah, we're not going to the port. So we'll come back. i we'll come back and go to the port. Maybe after. Maybe next time we'll do that. Ready to turn left. Turn left. Evergreen. Yeah, we're done. We are in Beaumont, Texas. And we did get a Shoreside Delivery Achievement Progress. Five out of six, I think it's said. Well, let me just update on the um, achievements now that I've gotten. So I just unlocked the Fairy Tales deal, um, achievement. Um, it says it requires the Washington DLC, but you can actually unlock it with the Texas DLC. By taking the ferry in Galveston, take the uh, get the fairy tales, um, unlock it the fairy tales achievement. So if we go down to the Texas DLC. I now only need one more for the Lone Star State, and we need we have six out of thirty. So I've got twenty-four more historical markers to find, and three more shoreside. Uh, shipyards and cargo ports so missing three and the farms and the cotton so I'm gonna at some point need to do those as well and we are gonna do a port there's another port delivery that we missed I think 
down the coast. I think there was one. Was it? I don't really have done Port Houston. There's one down in Galveston, maybe. That could be the port right there in Galveston. So we'll do that next time. But uh, for now, I'm going to leave it here in Beaumont. And next time, uh, we are going to work our way and try to get that port, last port. Thing. But then there's also, we may come up this way now. Then we'll see. But there's, there's a, a point right there that I haven't seen. So, I have only one more. That's Fort Stockton. That's quite far away. But one more city to, to discover in Texas. So at some point, I mean, so we're going to probably work our way up to Longview and then across to Fort Stockton. But that's going to take a while, so we're going to, along the way, we're going to see what uh, historical markers we can find along the way and try to get that achievement as well. So, like, subscribe, comment down below, and we'll see you on the next Exploring Texas.